<laughs> in this handout, this little thing that we gave it to you. The first Dharani is on the third page. The first and second page were put as the third and fourth. So you to the Pradana Sura Dharani. Dharani of Bodhisattva Bredon or Pradana Sura to neutralize evil spirits. Listen only. Vale Mahavari Uki Muki Hadi Adavati Driti Nriti Abati Hiti Niviti Niti Tini Nritani Nriti Akati One Two Vale Mahavari Uki Muki Hadi Adavati Driti Nriti Hiti Niviti Niti Nritani Nriti Akati All right. Some of you already learned that one. <laughs> so you get to be when we chant it. We we go. Just to that slow that we just did, or to that speed, depending on how you feel. Okay? But uh, usually at the Rani, you don't go. Take it, okay? Yeah. So you go on that. <laughs> <laughs> Fire the wrathful Buddha that just consumes evil and frees you from darkness, you know? So uh, at the end of that one, where you're, you're done, just follow the beat on the 4 4 tempo, and at the end, it's just a little break to breathe in. One, two, three, four, and you go again, okay? So, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's read the philosophical technicalities that I will contradict in five minutes. <laughs> Bodhisattva brave donor in Sanskrit Pradhanasura, also translated as hero of charity. It means that he has the courage to give, to be unattached to material things, thus the evil spirits have no hand on him. By being non-attached, we have power over what creates attachment. Does that make sense? Yes. By being non-attached, we gain a power over what creates attachment. Mm -hmm. The forces invoked by this Dharani could be interpreted as such. Inflame, great inflamement, proclaim, proclaim to all the masses and consume, descending from above, it consumes and dances, descending dance, helping and protecting, helping and protecting even more, gathering this help and protection, making the dance tangible, dancing at the waist which is a lower astral dancing here, where our attachments are made, okay? The Pradhana Sura Dharani. Now well, first, a Dharani, what's the difference between a Dharani and a mantra? Uh, a dharani is a specific set of mantra that we call spells. Okay? A spellcaster, in Sanskrit we say a mantrika, someone who uses mantra. But most mantras are also prayers. This one is not a prayer, it's a spell. What is a spell when it's not a, spray, uh, a sprayer? <laughs> you know, radiance in various fashions. <laughs> so, when a mantra is not a prayer, it's a spell. It's a dharani in this category of dharani. A dharani is something we invoke, something we focus on so that we can create it. Okay? So, we're not only waiting for a divine intervention, we're also focusing on the manifestation of something. Okay? So that's a dharani. Okay, so there are mantras to heal, we ask divine intervention to be healed, and there's dharanis to heal, we're focused on creating that healing. Okay? So these are dharanis, um, which are the dharanis used in uh, Buddhist exorcism. Okay? So we mix up all philosophies for all of this to make sense from every point of view, okay? Vale is to inflame. I won't go that deep in all the bija analysis like I taught you the first time. I want you to just get the main idea. Vale is to inflame. Vale 
is an action. Okay. Vala is uh, the flame. Val, fire, valita, radiance of that flame, or what that flame produces. Jvali and flame. Like an imperative verb. Mahajvali inflamed greatly. <coughs> A higher divine level of inflamement. Uke. It's a Bija proclamation. Okay, Uke. U is an experience. K, K is cause greatly. And then you have the E, which in Sanskrit is a verb. And a verb in the mind of God is when you're conscious of something. So A is the, also the Bija. The le just the, the sound E is the Bija of to be conscious or aware or wise. Of that, of that experience. Okay. So, upke, bija analysis, is to, to provoke an experience. What, what experience are we talking about? Jvali Mahajvali. Okay. So, Jvali Mahajvali to cause an experience. So, with the uke, we proclaim, well, uke is a verb, um, to proclaim, I guess. The bija uke is about causing it to be experienced because you're conscious of it. Okay. So muke, so same proclamation but to the masses. The matrix will be inflamed, will be experiencing. Okay. So we want to cause uke muke. We really want to go into causing that flame <laughs> and making it. Explode, okay. Repeat just the four first line slowly with me. Vale, Mahavale, Uke, Muke. Pay attention. Now, if you just say the words, it's not enough. Try to grow in the feeling. In the feeling of flame. Jvale, Mahajvale, Uke, Muke. And feel the setting on fire. Okay? Ade is the verb, consume. What is consume? Well, if the bija d d is about form ad is about non form okay ade means eat it okay they burn that form make it stop to go so consuming just something that is set on fire is just eaten just deform or transform okay so in this case to be consumed is ade adavati is the descending consume. So it's the descending flame that will consume. Why is it descending? It is a holy flame. It is a great flame. It is the fire of the Holy Ghost in the Christian philosophy. Gives the, the, the life and the fire of the bread of Yahweh for the Hebrew. And Shiva's power of transformation. And in this case, a great flame that descends means it's from heaven. But it descends. It comes inside us. Really consuming everything inside us. Okay? So it comes from inside. Descending. There's no reference to inside, but trust me. There's inside in there. Because it comes from the, the higher planes. It goes inside you. And then it will start to burn everything inside you at the level of voice and all around you okay and a swirl and dance and that flame is not just orange and red it's multicolor but still fire sometimes you have blue fire